Uh, hey, Midjay. Well, the college has started up, so I was messing about with that, figuring out how I'm gonna set up the streams, when I'm gonna do what. And unfortunately, uh, no one's fucking serious. None of the professors are serious. Uh, serious. Everything is. Mm, everything's chaotic, to say the least. Especially with the. Basically, I have classes on Monday and t on Tuesday, yeah. All the other ones are gonna be on a need to know basis. Fucking the heads. Thank God I don't have a job, otherwise, that would be a pain in the ass. And I got some jackasses upstairs or downstairs or right next to me in the, in the, in the apartment building doing some work. At what? 10 at night? That's nice. Yeah, literally need to know basis like... Uh, oh, we're gonna come once or twice a month. We don't know when it's gonna be. But we're gonna let you know. And uh, yesterday we had uh, some classes on, the, you know, using Google Classroom, so... They're not even coming here anymore. What the hell was I going doing the last time? Alright, we pissed out someone, didn't we? There doesn't oh right. I'm gonna go over there. And then these motherfuckers are gonna declare war on us. One of these two probably. Well, and none of this is because of the coronavirus. Uh, the problem, the problem we have here is that uh, a lot of, well, in Republic of Serbia, a lot of uh, professors are from Serbia. So, such lovely neighbors, right? Hey, please. Are, are they gonna stop hammering? No? Most, a lot of the professors are from uh, Serbia, so they like, you know, can't get here exactly all the time. It's only a four hour drive, but, you know, it's the same problem with everyone. They're working in three or four colleges or schools and all that, so they can't, don't have time for everything. And I'm like, Ain't my fucking problem, I'm paying you to come here and teach me something, right? So, you know, quit one of the jobs, fuck's sakes. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and check on the. Did I sell off everything? Yeah, we do need to get some food. Manjir, when are you gonna make the playthrough videos or, or videos on the other games? I see you're only doing ASMR videos these days. Well, in the last, what, week or two? Ooh. Nope. Right, I do have a capacity for companions. Okay, then we can grab two more. Do you need to find someone who can actually maybe lead? Engineer now. Do have one guy on us that can lead, right? Yeah, 30 the brave. Funny, I had a 
had an, uh, an, a lawyer literally bang and do shit in his office right underneath me till like 3 in the morning and nothing, you, you call the police, they do fuck all about it. Corrupt pieces of shit. Age of Empires 4, right? You could just do live streams of whenever. I'm gonna mute myself while they hammer away. Uh, you could just like stream when you play games, like normally. Let's record the footage. And... In you're using Windows to record, right? The game bar thing. I'm not sure that's gonna... That's working out too good. I think you're... Do you change something in your videos when it comes to gamma, the color? Because they seem a bit too yellowish. Or... Sat well, not saturated. But a bit too yellow, I guess. Right, I didn't check the garrisons. Manage the towns. Okay, that's fine. Right, the plan is to grab this, right? Yeah, these two, if I can. I guess it makes sense that it's a bit more saturated because it's, you know, ancient history and all that. It kind of makes sense. Or it gives a good aesthetic about that. Oh my fucking god. You know, I do wonder... Who the hell works... What? 12 to 8? Then comes home and hammers away? And does shit around their house? Imagine. Okay, they, they are doing fine when it comes to garrison. Round two gameplay. Now this is what I'm thinking. Uh, I can grab the garrison units. And give it, give them uh, to the companion, and see if they're gonna survive. Let's grab half of those and half of those. But like you, you know, you can always do. You're gonna play the game anyway to record it for. Uh, you know your videos. You can just basically, well, unless it's you do the ASMR thing, but you can live stream while uh, and record your stuff, which you're gonna do anyway. I have a video plan to make on how you can stream to multiple platforms without reusing Restream. Yeah, raw music is so good. Without using Restream or Streamlabs. 
I'm gonna get around to it at some point, probably. I did, uh, did want to include Triarii music in here too, but that would get copyrighted to all hell, probably. Uh, how do I how do I make a new party again? Right here. Little brave. He can have a hundred troops. Yeah, but there's a way to like uh, set up an, your own RTMP server on your PC, and just you know send your video stream to it and it, then it distributes it to multiple platforms which however many you want but you do need to have you do need to have a lot of uh, uploads upload bandwidth I haven't conquered much we do need to unify Rome but I don't have that much influence to sway the other king uh, or the lords to declare war on what I want Right, we need to. I want to give him these. Give him about 60. I give them the rest in archers. Now hopefully the idea is to keep him around on the map so I can so I can uh, call him into a battle fight you know fight with me. Let's le leave the rest in here, manage garrison. It takes a while because the AI does stupid stuff. Like it declares war on them you know things that don't make sense well I mean uh, we are kind of spread out all over the place I mean this kind of makes sense but it would be better if we took out the northern empire first they only have they're actually spreading out a bit I think we well, only have this and this area once we take care of this this area over here is gonna be easy because the Kuzites most of the time, like, knock this out. Or the Nords. Actually, they took that from them. Yeah, it's Mountain Blade. You can't make sense out of the AI never, ever in these games. Yeah. Do we have support for any wars? No, we don't. It's been so long since I played, I don't, I don't fucking remember what we did in the last one. Okay, I think, can't you tag him? You can always see him on the map. Unlimited wages. Uh, priority. Mm -hmm. Well, depends which game, right? Um, well, in Hearts of Iron, it's pretty fucking dumb, I'd say. Yeah, you want a mod uh, where the cities are Roman? There is one mod that's getting worked on. That will like literally edit all the cities and uh, towns to make them Roman. And the mod creators for this mod and that one are sharing files in between each other. So it is coming. It's, it's just gonna take a while, you know. But it's already being worked on. You can, uh, I think, Resonant or the Jackie Fish guy made a video on it. But the only problem is like. Um, when you make big off fuck off cities and villages, you kind of, you kind of, the AI doesn't know how to fight in them. 
So the models kind of have to scale them down a little bit so that you can actually have fights in the villages. But it's, it is, everything's being worked on, basically. It's just gonna take time. Yeah, I was looking how to tag. There was a way to tag him on the map so you can always see where he is. Um, I don't know this. What the fuck's that button now? Ah, uh, never mind. I can't find it. No, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a new when it comes to modding as well. Like I install a basic mod and it crashes the game, like the, the flaming arrows one, which was there from like the day two of the game since it's released. And she just crashes the game on sieges, so like I have no freaking clue on why or how. Oh yeah, this we can we can uh, tag him like that so I can see where he's on the map. Right, we do need to drop into the cities to actually find some more companions we can make parties out of. Because you know what? What? Motherfucker! Someone already took him. God damn it! Right, there's a couple pulses I want to sway people on. It's gonna require some influence. Not that one though. There's a Star Wars mod being worked on. I thought I think I saw that on Resonance YouTube channel last couple of days. Right, tavern. Iron Eye. Nope. Outing, throwing. Hmm. This guy could be a good, you know, cavalryman. But we don't need him. Tournament. No. No, I'm not gonna waste time. Well. Might be a good warm up, actually. So I don't die on the first fight. Yeah, there was a bunch. Of, uh, there was a bunch of Star Wars mods for Warband. So, like most of the mods you can find on Warband are being made on Battleload. They're just not done yet. Two hundred damage, Jesus! Oh well, it takes even longer than that. I think you know. I played Prophecy of Pandora the most on Warband. I just played as a. Uh, Fucking bow and arrow, really? I play Prophecy of Pandor as my... as native, basically, on Warband. And it got an update... The last update it got, it was when uh, Bannerlord actually released. Or, well, I mean, early access went... Okay, that that's something wrong with textures. There's mods for Warband that are being worked on still. And they're getting updates, so... Could take freaking years. Shit. It will literally take 10 years to get some odds out. I mean, Down of War 2 is still getting mods updated to this day. And these little small shields, you can't do shit with them. <laughs> no. 
well, uh, the mods for Attila and Total War Realm 2 are kind of st stuck forever, I'd say. Because they, they, I mean, they're being worked on. Then, they, then the people just switch them over to, like, uh, you know, you know, just switch them over to. Why can't I? Okay, fine. Just switching some windows around. And people stop developing developing it for one game and turn the assets over to another game and they you know move it from Total War 2 to Attila and all that. Please watch your video on Ancient Empires. I do want to play that mod again. That's that's for sure. For Attila. Maybe once I get a better GPU, so that might might be in a couple of months, maybe a couple of years, <laughs> at this point. Here we want that. Let's sell the shitty prize we got. Oh yeah, mods are being canned all over the place. Warhammer 40k is banning all the mods. It's just a matter of, um, I mean, the guy that's making the Wrath of the Blood Ravens mod and Vengeance of the Blood Ravens ain't backing down. He's just gonna stick to his guns. He's not gonna delete the mod. Even if he gets a cease and desist letter. I got no problem, man. Eh? I wanna see what's new in the, in the mod. It's been like three years since I last checked it out to like two, something like that. That's gonna take us forever to get over there. Jesus Christ. Okay, nope. Nope. Aren't you in the other settlement? Well, um, I think hmm. I might do it like the the thing that uh, Bethesda did, and uh, just make the mods paid for, you know, the Creator Club or whatever it was called. And uh, there is a couple of mods for uh, Total War Warhammer, which you know do include chaos. Stuff in them, like the Slanesh Warriors, Corn uh, Warriors, Nurgle Warriors, and whatnot, whatnot. So, and that's their next DLC, basically. So, it's kind of you know, steals the thunder of the new uh, Warhammer 3 a, a little bit, especially if the units are not as good as the mod ones, you know, the ones in the mod. Why is there a party of six three fuck? 60 fucking three looters just in the middle of uh, I gotta kill him. Well Nippon wait. Which one is well, which one is Nippon again? The uh, the Indian Indian based one, right? Nippon Japan. Well, isn't that the one? Uh, no. Which one is the one that's already re revealed? Let's see, can our archers actually kill them before they get over here? Infantry! Forward! Oh, 
Yeah, they're already running away. Kill them all. The CA is definitely gonna milk uh, Warhammer to to no end with ma uh, with DLCs. They already are, you know. So that's you know that's a for sure thing at this point. Got a mop up who, who, huge hordes of losers around the, all around the empire. Mm, yeah, let him go. Okay, more watchers. And I actually never did the main quest for Banlord. I have no no clue. The motherfucker. Why is the quest? Oh, he has a quest for us. Never mind. Wait a minute. Oh, those are those are just caravans. I don't like the fact that they. What's their name? Palak Empire is the same color as the Northern Empire, more or less. It gives me a mini heart attack. Oh yeah, the, the faces. Well, I, I literally have no idea how how the how the hell did they make the faces look weirder than in Warband? Like, there's no fucking explanation for that. Okay, let's mop up these guys, then we're gonna help. Oh, shit. Then we're gonna help these. I mean, if I join the army, they should stand and fight those over there. But the, there are a lot of mods that make the faces a little bit better. So, you know. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to talk about. About uh, they're gonna camp. About tail worlds getting lazy. That's not really the case. They're pump pumping out. Wait. If they're gonna attack, I'm just gonna sit back, right? Let's go. Well, I mean, um. I don't think it's fair to compare Skyrim, right? Might be better to compare it to like Oblivion <laughs> with those faces. Like the Tail Wars is pumping out uh, updates fairly, fairly regu regu regularly every week or so. From a wedge, from a ski, skein, 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 something like that. I don't know how that's pronounced. This is an odd choice when it comes to faces, but you know, what can you do? I mean, remember Oblivion? Can't be worse than that, I guess. Guess what? It would make sense. Well, it depends on the culture in the company, I guess, on, on and how like uh, they deal with game update. You know, changes to what they're gonna do about the game or something. 
since well, I know well has gone to shit since they since they work from home. More or less. That's a big issue for them. But yeah, put your archers in front, yeah. I mean, at least the game was made at, the, at this point, right? I'm gonna wait this time. Right, the problem over here is we're not gonna get any fresh recruits. Until we go back. Easy peasy and they were retreating. Alright. And we lost only five guys. The base. I guess the face would look a little bit better if the if I had higher settings, right? We want to grab all the horses we can. Ooh. The infantry in your party have their melee weapon skill increased by 30% while in shield wall formation. Troops in the formation you are leading have their damage with the pole arms increased by 3%. I don't have an actual... Well, does it count the cav units? It should, right? Troops in your formation have 20% less pro and loss. Um, oh, garrison infantry and government settlements have their wages reduced by 20%. Money! Not late. Alright. Um, maybe there are a point in riding, I guess. Okay, let's help, help our guys down here. And. Alright. Well, now is. If I do join their army. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, the A is gonna do stupid shit. God damn it. The, uh, I mean, when fighting these, those up there, which are gonna outnumber us probably, once that army joins up. Nah, just send the troops in. We're gonna lose less like that. So happy. Yeah, we got some. We got the tip. Jesus Christ. Can't figure out on what, though. We can just open up stream elements. Because apparently the. Did the bot join in? Yes, it did. And an honest tip of $13. Thank you, mate. Wherever it was. I assume it's you, Matt J, right? It's you, I know it. Or Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. Like you need to extreme elements needs you to log in with Twitch or YouTube. Not sure how that exactly works. I think you can log in with both of those to get the to get the actual like you know 
name, your name popping up all, all that. Or you can actually, you know, put in. Thank you, Sammy. For $13. I got to write that down somewhere real quick. To add it to the Hall of Fame of donators. What the f Why does Windows have to screw up everything you get? Sticky notes. Where are the normal notes? Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna use a notepad. Good old notepad saves the day all the day every day. This is version 1.5.1, I think. Okay, yeah, it says uh, I did get an, uh, an uh, Sam. Well, I think I just I didn't dox you. I hope. I hope. Yeah, this. Uh, let me check, actually. I don't know which version is this. 1.6, right? 1.6.1. There is an updated version of the mod, which has uh, Scythians in it. You know? Which day is it today? The 9th. There is a uh, yeah. There is a newer version of the mod which added Scythians, and I'm not quite sure where they added them. I mean, it would make sense. Oh, so Sammy, where did they add them? Did they add them where the Kuzites are or the Asari are? I could move. I guess this would make more sense, right, Scythians? You know, Eastern, not Southern. These are Kuzites, right? Yeah. So what, there's two tribes instead of one? That's the real issue, like, with playing uh, Banlord mods these days. You get a sweet update like that, and you can't really play it without starting a whole new campaign. I was actually thinking about it. There is a mod that actually allows you to, uh, you know, start start as a lord or the king of a faction or the leader of the faction, right? That could work, but then again, you always start from the same position. And you have to conquer everything again and all that. Okay, let's dump all the troops in real quick. Okay, these guys are fucked. I don't think they're... Let's see... Unless these... Unless these guys join up... Where the hell did... Oh my god. You give a man an army, and he loses it all while getting over here. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna yeah, stick close to them. D don't ignore him. What the? God fucking damn it, AI. Oh god, I so wish you can actually like talk to the leader and like tell him to all of you like you did and used to be able to do in uh, uh, Warband. Okay, 
Okay, hopefully that army is a bit bigger than this one. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, this one is not happy to see me. I like the other ones. <laughs> Let's see her expression change. Huh? I don't really change. That much. Okay, now we did. Right, I need to grab the horses and food, everything else. Just leave it for the infantry. Or the troops. Looks like my neighbors are gonna... Start hammering away again. I'm gonna mute myself if they do. Hopefully I'm not gonna f forget to unmute myself after. Oh god. I don't know why I even worry about them giving it to me. I can always just give it away. But I think it like forfeits. Uh, I'm not sure if it works like in Warband, but if you do that too much, then the. Oh, my, oh shit. Ain't doable, not really. And they're all dead at this point. Where's the other army? Okay, they're going to besiege that, but they're just gonna get wasted by all of those guys. Okay, we can... I could have taken one of those out. Oh no, this is, this, this is like the Total War soundtrack. I'm just playing it with time. And I muted the in-game sound. There was a mod that uh, added the Total War music into the mod. But it's... I think it was the... I think it was discontinued or something. Probably because of copyright. I don't think that he could have, the mother could have, you know, continued that. Okay, why the fuck am I following them? I mean, I could win it, but it's gonna be bloody. You can always just grab their... I must beg my leave. You can always just, you know, play your own music. There is Triarii. You can still download. It. Then good, but like, uh, there's a lot of uh, like empty, like uh, well, times where it doesn't play anything. Especially if you're going into battles and out of battles and into menus and all that all the time, and kind of like interrupts the cues for the, you know, when the sound is gonna play. So, you know, it's kind of better just playing it by yourself. Like, if we're gonna fight, I can, you know, just shuffle the music around till we find them, you know, a battle, battle sound, battle soundtrack. Much easier like that. But I do have something new if... If you want to try, if you want to like playing as Rome, have a modified version of Prophecy of Pandor, named Prophecy of Rome, of course. You can download and play that. There is a playthrough of the mod on my channel. So basically, I just uh, switched the Bax Empire to Roman Empire and added some different troops, like archers, instead of the 
crossbowmen. And Cav instead of the... Cav instead of the skirmisher Cav they have. And, you know, buff them a little bit. For that Roman fantasy. I did want to, like, uh, actually go in and uh, add all the fancy, you know. All the fancy textures and models for, for it to be, like, truly Roman. But I don't know how to do that, and I didn't have the time to, like, check that out. The, the music in fights is fine. Uh, it's, uh, the problem is I just go into fights and out of fights so much, you know, so fast. That in the campaign, uh, the music does, just doesn't play. That's what I mean. Horseman over there. So if we finally have some cab on our side. What the fuck happened there? It's much smoother and easier when I like manually change the music around and have it playing. One death on our side. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's my companion. That's theirs. enough money I don't need to pick up anything yet there the victory music the barbarian victory music but you know works out Right, let me check something. Companions. Okay, so he's staying uh, here. But, like, yeah, that's like, you can make a part and he just gets wasted. Instantly. Okay, come on. You wanna fight? Nope. Let's go over there and help out our. Wait a minute. Where the fuck's... Where the hell is the other army? Oh god. Well, I guess I could sit here and defend this instead. Right, donate the troops. Only 11, 11 influence. They're not gonna besiege it. That no, no, they're not. Looks like they're going to. Oh, it would be nice if you could actually ally with other factions. What the hell is besieging this? What the hell, game? Oh, the madman is besieging it by himself. Our lord and save. Well. Our Caesar. You know, families to marriage. Uh, 
I'm not sh even sure if does he have anyone to I can marry. He has a child, and he's a va she's a vassal of Sturgeon. A fucking traitor. Does she have a mother? Well, mother's no. She has a. Oh, she's married off to Sturgeon. Never mind. A traitor still. Rest least from my oath. Well, I guess I'm just gonna sit here and help him. I guess. Why the hell not? Me and the king. Conquering some Gallic land. Pallic land. And they're not. Oh shit. Oh, he have. Okay, he's besieging it. Uh, so that's yeah, I'll check it later that's his wife right no Damocles problem is she's married off already I mean I guess I could always just kill her has husband accidentally in a in a fight, you know. It would take a while. Uh, a lot of tries, but it could happen, right? I mean I guess I could kill them all. If we go to war with them, easily enough. Like, for some reason, I never really you know, paid much attention to, like, actually killing. Or marrying, not killing, marrying in Bell uh, Warband game, or Warband or Bell Lord, for that matter. And at this point, I never really started my own faction battle lord yet because the, the game the game just keeps getting updated all the time. All the goddamn time. I guess I, when we do go to war with Sturgeon, I should aim to, you know, to hit him in the head with the pilum or something. To make sure he dies, right? Okay, let's uh, grab some pilum. It's gonna be an easy fight, but still. I do wish OBS actually told you why you're getting you're getting skipped frames due to encoding lag. Like is it the recording bit? Because I am recording with my GPU. Or is it the CPU bit? Like which one of those are not getting or not keeping up. Or can't keep up, but well, I guess. Let's see. I mean, there's not much, not much we can do here. Oh shit. Maybe I should have paid attention. Did they. Oh. Oh, this is a castle, man.
He doesn't look like they have catapults, so the battery near I am should be able to make it over there. And I do have the well, do have the siege tower fix, but um, there is no siege towers here, right? It should work with uh, ladders, though. Do. Oh my God. Imagine if they made it so if you ran into a barricade like this or spikes, your horse dies. No, it's been a freelancer mod. I guess that could, that works out, but the only problem is what if she marries someone else before that? Time to go up, boys. Am I gonna get support? Yes, I will. Funny thing, you can, you can actually throw a fucking pilum. You know, up here. Makes sense. Total sense. What you looking at? Anyone else? How the hell do you get up there? Oh. Oh, I know why. What I need to do? F. No, no, don't ignore me. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna throw these at your. F Wait a minute. Okay, if someone hits you, you lose the rock. That makes sense, kind of. Some of these guys just have a shitload of health, which is... Not really normal. You know, it doesn't make sense that you do over a hundred damage and someone still still is alive. Like the war band system a little bit better with iron flesh. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's that's our guy. Although that's a problem, uh, Sammy too. Like, uh, I'm not really good with mods for Bandlord. I can never make more of them work. Usually, one crashes the game all the time. Like, uh, there's the uh, mod that gives you fire arrows at night or at day. That one just. Uh, it always crashes on siege, siege battles, and even on night, some night battles, like normal night battles on the field. I just, I don't want to mess with it. Okay, some troops. I don't really like the full, like, you know, full-on faceplate mask and all that. 